so hi to all the viewers so i am here with you as a proud teacher to introduce before you dr khanshyam who is the proud achiever of all india rank 4 in the common merit list and rank 5 in the aims merit list in the recently conducted iniss 2025 november session for endocrinology so hearty congratulations to you dr khanshyam thank you so much sir it would have not been possible you are possible without your mentor so thank you thank you so much dr khanshyam so before we like go deep into your uh, like uh, the interview the preparation for the uh, the examination and how you were able to pass it with flying colors just please give a brief introduction from where you are from your uh, like background and where you have done your previous courses from yes sir myself dr ganesham rento i have completed my i am basically from rajasthan bikaner city of rajasthan i have completed my mbbs from sardar patel medical college of bikaner only followed by which i completed my md general medicine in uh, this year fab only from dr rml hospital new delhi post which i gave neat ss uh, of uh, march session and i got a rank of 303 in which i initially took dm nephrology as a branch but later on i was a bit confused about branch so i left it and i decided to take a 6 months gap and decide what branch i need to be taking so finally i decided that i'll be pursuing endocrinology and i started to watch your videos and here yeah, it is so i think you must be a topper all along because like passing out from february 2025 straight away going to the neat ss and grabbing a, a seat of like a rank of 300 is no mean achievement so and still like you had shifted the focus to endocrinology i think uh, it would be around like only 7 or 8 months time before uh, yes, the sir, only, uh, so, yes sir i just started my preparation from july only july and uh, august starting of this year so with such short span of time like how were you able to uh, the crack the exam and get into the top 5 of one of the most difficult courses i would say among all the like other super specialty courses i would rate endocrinology as one of the difficult uh, ones not only because of the difficulty level of the paper but also the level of competition that you are going to get because you are going to fight it out with the same number of students for just around 15 seats and each question is going to decide your fate on whether you are going to get the seat in your preferred institution or not so how have you tailored your preparation in that 6 months which have eventually turned your fate yes sir actually sir uh, since i has decided that i i am going to pursue endocrinology and i have to start my preparation uh in uh, during my md days only i used doc tutorials uh, md uh, neat uh, folders for my preparation of uh, md subjects at that time i have saw uh, seen your some videos and i have uh, taken out uh, some of the uh, notes of some topics like thyroid diabetes which were important for daily clinics so i was a uh, bit sure that for endocrinology i have to watch all the long videos of yours and uh, first of all i uh, went to some previous interviews of the toppers in which all the common thing was we you have to do doc tutorial thoroughly rigorously and religiously it has to be done long videos has to be done qrp has to be done q bank has to be done and all gts has to be done the, these four are the pillars of your endocrinology iniss and nothing else has to be done from outside so i started my preparation in august 1 and by 15th of august i completed all the long videos of yours i revised them for one and a half month till september after that with them i completed all the q banks twice and followed by which i started gts to give gts so that i can realize that which topic is my weak in because in gts you have bundles of uh, questions from every topic so you get to know uh, what topic is your uh, weaker and which is stronger in which you need to give more time and in which you can skip the uh, portion in, during revision plus uh, from q bank the main uh, portion was ki i have to supplement my notes notes itself are sufficient for conceptual uh, all the concepts all uh, all the important things are there in notes but some some uh, factual things have to be 
present in tables which are given in uh, QBanks. So these, this is the only primary source of my preparation, sir. So I think I'm very happy to hear as a teacher and as the uh, like representative of the platform to say that uh, you are using our platform as the sole basis for your preparation and it has helped you to uh, achieve our dream. So uh, again, Dr. Kanshyam, because this was your first attempt at the INISS and there were like a lot of speculations on how the paper is going to be. It wasn't going to be a very short and crispy factual based paper one-liner based or is going to be a more of a like statement based question or a long clinical scenario based question. So how did you prepare yourself for like, or did you expect a mixed bag of questions or whether you expected the question to be of a similar line, something like that? Uh, actually, sir, uh, I have watched all your recall videos from 2021 to uh, till May 2025. All recall videos, I saw them. I took notes out of them. So it was uh, in. It is uh, actually INI is unpredictable in its nature. It is predictable in sense that it has some topics which it is going to repeat. But you can't expect that which type of question it is going to ask. It can ask you simple one-liner type of question. It can ask you uh, clinical STEM questions, or it can ask you statement-based questions with uh, in in a single question in which all four statements are from four different topics. So you can't uh, be, uh, be, uh, pre uh, have a base of preparation based on that. You have to identify the important topics based on the recalls uh, of our previous years, followed by which in on those topics, you have to build your preparations. So I uh, took uh, all, all your uh, recall videos and uh, uh, jot down all the notes. And from those, I special specifically made a uh, topic wise list in 2025 may what topics were important and how many repeats of these topics have been occurred so based on that i uh, tried to revise my notes okay, this is the most important topic this is the least important topic and there is always going to be some questions which are going to be out of uh, nowhere and you can't mark them by any means yeah absolutely that's the very important point dr kanshyam has pointed out because i was just speaking to rahul sir also regarding the number of recall videos we have done because we've been doing it for the last three, four years and there are two sessions every year. That means at least eight to 10 recall videos. See, as Dr. Gansham has rightly pointed out, if you had made a list of uh, like all those topics from which the questions were asked, you would get to see a pattern of repetition and you will be able to understand which are those high yield areas where the questions are going to be concentrated from. I think that strategy has paid you rich dividends and i remember you bringing up all these points in the group as well like this was a previous year question and all this was a previous year point and that has rightly uh, helped you in the exam as well so dr kanshyam did you attend all the gts that the app uh, the doc tutorials have uh, provided you and how was your scoring in those examinations like uh, yes sir i have uh, attended all the live three gts uh, in first two GTs, I was scoring around uh, rank 8 or rank uh, in second, I think I was around rank 12. But in the last GT, the nearest to the exam, I had scored a rank 3. Uh, okay. And uh, all the previous year GTs, uh, 34 in number, I attended all of them. I bookmarked the question which I got wrong or I was confused. And I uh, revised them before exam twice. I tried to revise them. Uh, once at least that I revise all the bookmarked questions from GTs and QBanks. So I completed all the 34 GTs. So for all the students out there like who are aspirants for endocrinology going to appear for the upcoming exams, so please, please listen to Dr. Kansham here because he has attended all the GTs at the right time. He had a real-time exam-based like scenario even prior to the D-Day and very, very importantly, he has reviewed the GT and identified those areas of strength and weaknesses, bookmarked the questions where he had confusion and was gotten wrong. And this is the error logbook, which I've always been speaking about. So always make sure that the errors, the silly mistakes and those your conceptually weak areas should be stressed and you should work on those areas so that it will help you out on the eventual examination day. So Dr. Kanshyam, the theory exam or the MCQ paper was only a job. I would say two thirds done. You still had one more hurdle to cross, which was the 
departmental assessment. So how did you prepare yourself for the interview and uh, how we as a platform aided you uh, in that regard? Sir, uh, for departmental uh, assessment, uh, I completely uh, was uh, based on, uh, my preparation was completely based on the uh, mock interviews you attended previously and uh, the mock interview which was attended this time as well. Uh, all the videos uh, which were present on uh, app and all the links you sent to us, I watched them thoroughly. I made the notes out of them. A 50 page in the interview notes were present with me. I revised them thoroughly. And the uh, one uh, main thing which you told to us that you have to be prepared with your answers because uh, since the uh, candidates have been uh, increasing in interview, the time for each candidate has been reduced. So you have to be present with your answer and in a presentable form. So I tried to, uh, with each and every topic, I tried to make a, some kind of answer with me uh, that I can speak. So uh, I practice them in front of a mirror that uh, how I am able to speak. Am I fumbling? Am I uh, able to speak in a proper manner uh, like approaches to Cushing syndrome, approach to thyroiditis? I prepared them uh, by myself uh, with the help of your videos only, sir, with all those points, history, clinical examination and all. Uh, but uh, the pattern of speaking, which you said you have to prepare that. So that was important. That helped me. Uh, key. I just took five seconds off uh, with me to structure an answer in uh, my head, and then I sp uh, sp uh, speak that out uh, with confidence. So I think there are certain unique points raised by Dr. Kanshyam. His own ways of a lot of the strategies with which he has like was able to crack the theory exam, and very very valid points that he has made for his interview preparation as well. So please please. Those who are watching the interview, please, as Dr. Khansham himself has acknowledged the previous interviews that he has watched and he has drawn inspiration from that. So I think this is a very, very valuable message that he is giving out to all the aspirants out there. So if there is one word or the message that you want to give out to these students out there, Dr. Khansham, what would that be? If I can do it, every, uh, you can also do it. And it is possible with doc tutorials. It is totally possible with your support, sir. You are always there with us. Anytime we have messaged you on the group, yeah, you, are, you were always there with answers. You were always there with uh, the miscellaneous topics, which were uh, too bulky and too difficult for us. You made those pointers in WhatsApp messages, and those were really helpful, like lipodystrophy. You sent that message, and <laughs> I remember that before just exam, I read that. So that was really helpful. Thank you, Kansham. And it is extremely like, uh, like I said, proud moment for myself and the uh, platform to have helped you achieve your dream seat in uh, one of the AIMS institutes. And uh, I wish you all the very best in your all your personal and professional endeavors. And once again, a huge, huge congratulations from my side. So thank, thank you, Dr. Kansham. You.